you're you're so far. This is your third episode. Yep. She's a recurring yeah. guest. Yeah. Three episodes. She's about to be a season it. regular. Yeah. Yeah. About to be a season regular. I'll be a series. 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 Yeah. Series. <laughs> Been waiting for this. First time intro. Well, we don't even gotta really do too much. They right. seen her about. This our third time on the right. show. No introduction. Latoya Tonadeo, aka okay, Diane yeah. Diana Tejada. Mm -hmm. I'm Power Book Two Ghost. Mm -hmm. One of the most popping women on television right now. Come on. Hey, you know. I mean, <laughs> she's like, like she's like playing a cool. She's, she's like, like yeah, yeah, I mean, a little yeah. humble. Yeah. yeah. She's like yeah, just a little bit. And please introduce our. Listen, man, we got the legendary Eve in the building. What I hear. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> what you mean? Of course, man. You're a legend, bro. Um, we, thank dude, you, man. we are blessed to have the director of this episode Fire. in here. Fire. So this, like, it doesn't get any more in depth. Am, yeah. am I the first one? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're the first. You're the first, you're the first director ever on the show. Mm -hmm. Dope. Yeah. yeah. Dope. So you gotta you you set the tone for them. Now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Set the tone. Have to you set the tone. Man. We're gonna yeah. give them one. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for so sure. so we we kind of we did Toya's episode where we went into her acting past. Mm -hmm. We dove deep in that. If you didn't catch that episode, go watch it. Yes. I kind of want to get into, like, how you started directing, because it's a crazy story. Fire story, Working too. with 50 and how yeah. you started working on Ghost, Kanan, BMF. You've worked on them all. Yeah, man. Um, shit. I think it's been now 14 years I've known Fifth. Fire. And uh, we started, man, with a small music video, man. We got like, I think we did 45, 50 videos by now. Damn. Like together. Damn. Yeah, it was crazy, man, because I think at the time we were doing them, like I was just running and gunning with them. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, you know, being this cameraman, but I'll get into that a little more later on, right? right? right. Like, yeah. But I mean, yeah, but you know what I mean? I think, um, um, man, it was just this thing. And I think what it was, too, Fifth was teaching me. Right. At the same time, you know, he, he, he'd, uh, He'd quiz me, you know, whenever we're shooting. He'd be like, he'd stop, be like, what, what lens are you shooting with? Mm -hmm. What's your frame rate? Like, he would, like, like yeah, he knows fire. his shit. That's nice. fire. You know what I mean? And um, it was just dope, man, working with him. And then I guess, you know, I realized um, I had to just stick around with him, man, because it was like, there was this video that um, that came up. It was Dr. Dre, Alicia Keys, um, 50, and somebody else was on it. And he was like, yo, man, um, I can't give you this one. Because I was relatively brand new, right? right. So they're not labels. Like, I'm not about to get this dude $300,000. Mm -hmm. So uh, Fifth came to me. He was like, yo, man, like, I can't give you that one, but I'm going to give you this one. Mm -hmm. And then he introduced me to, like, the music labels. Right. And then I started getting a bigger budget and stuff like that. But, fine. yeah, no, nah, he... Um, That's fine. He saw, you know what I mean? I think he just saw the talent in me early, and he just, like... You know, fifth the type of dude just test your loyalty and everything else, and right. and I was right there with him, man, and and we had to run. So like I knew about power before like it was even casted. Damn. You know what I mean? Like I know like a lot of stuff he got going on. Mm -hmm. Shit. I mean, Fire. I think at this point he's got like twenty five shows already green lit, ready to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and um, you know it's it's a blessing. Twenty five. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, with Fifth, man, like when he, you know, I've been around Power when you guys were shooting. You was a baby back then, yeah. man. But I was always around. I was always in the cut, and a lot of people just didn't really know my position or whatnot right. with Fifth. And uh, when that opportunity came, you know, I went through the all the motions of, like, you know, going to acting school, learning how to work with actors. And he was Thank like, yo. Yeah. yeah, seriously. Mm -hmm. I think every director needs to do Yeah, that. Oh, no, for sure. You know what I mean? Because, like... yes. You know, I remember, and it, it was funny, it's funny story was like, I was shooting a video one time with Fifth, and there was this actor dude, and we were doing like a storyline, right? And like right. the dude held up the, the pistol one way, and I was like, and I kind of played him like mm. in public. I was mm. like, yo, what are you doing? Like, that's not how you do it. Like, nobody holds their gun like that. And you know, and he just didn't know. Mm. Like, he, he wasn't a street guy, right. you know, he's an actor. And so Fifth pulled me to the side. He was like, yo, man, like, you just crushed this dude's heart. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I was just like, oh. Baby. And he explained to me how to like deal with the actors, and I was like, okay, cool. And then I just made it a business of like, took acting classes, um, started going to plays by myself, mm. just like reading into people, like why, how do they get to where they get to, like where right. do they pulling that from, performance, and why do they become somebody else? You know what I mean, it was, it was, 
is is this thing you got to understand. And so I had to learn that. And when I felt that I was ready, I'm like, yo, I think I'm ready. And he was like, all right, cool. Let me make the calls. And, you know, at the end of the day, like, even though he opened the door, I still have I to, like, what people don't work. understand, like, well, not even putting the work in, but like, you got, it's like you got to go through so many people. Right. Mm. So, like, you got to talk to, like, you know, the producers, then you got to talk to the, the studio, right. the yeah, network. Yeah, it's not just 50 mm -hmm. being like, here's right, the job. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's a lot of people, uh -uh. right? So, you know, it was a thing, man. And, you know, when I finally got in, you know, it was funny, man, because, like, obviously coming from music videos, um, some people, like, people who know about videos knew that I was doing it for a while. But not only that, like, I was doing commercials and stuff like that. My first mm -hmm. commercial was... With uh, with with Bud Light, that was like a two million dollar commercial that mm -hmm. uh, we had shot, right? And so, what was your first video? Was yeah, I, literally, bro, yeah. that was the same question that was yeah. in my head. Man, I mean, we can go back. The first video, like, was with Fat Joe because mm. we grew up together. So <laughs> I remember oh. saying, "Let me shoot a video for you," and then, like, a week later, I had to go work with Dr. Dre. Right. Mm. And then from there, that led to Fifty. You know what I mean? And the rest is history. But um, but yeah, just like. So I knew camera. Like, right. I knew, you know, I just had to learn the other elements, the other parts of it, which is acting, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so once I got that, like, you know, I remember going to my first time on Ghost, and, uh, you know, the word was like... 106. 106. Yeah. yeah. 106, right? right. And the, the funny, because, like, I heard from, like, crew, like, the next day, after we scouted, we scouted, and then the next day people were like, oh, no, like, He's a director. Right. Like, <laughs> like, I think they expected me to pull up and just be like, okay, what are we like, doing? Yeah, I don't, right. Like, hold my hand. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what I mean? And when we scouted, like, I knew everything because I know camera by this time. One, I was DPing my own shit for right. 50. Mm -hmm. And then just doing bigger videos, just kind of learning the whole, how everything works. Like, the whole camera department, everything else doesn't, that's all the same wherever you go. Right. Like, when you're doing it on a big level. And then working with the actors is just another part of it, right? That was your first episode of television ever, correct? Ever, 106, yeah. 106 yeah, of yeah, Ghost. Yeah, we had so much Fire. fun with that, right? Yeah. We had Fire. so much fun with that. Just, but like, it was crazy, man, because like the crew was like, yeah, you know, word was like somebody that said you was 50s camera guy. Like that's mm. how I was introduced right. to mm. like the cam, like the crew. Damn. And I was like, damn, like that's so right, that's, dirty. That's, that's, how, that's how you like, feel. How that yeah, like that's how you feel. Yeah, like what you mean? kind of lights a fire under your ass. You're like, I'm gonna prove my work. Yeah, like. And it, it looked like That's what I'm saying. Like, my, my whole thing was like, yo, just like, do the work. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get involved in the politics. Don't, none of that shit matter. Like, just do what you do and then let the work speak for itself. And I, and I always live by that. Like, I'm not going to say nothing to nobody. I'm not going to stir yeah. nothing up. I'm just let the work speak for itself. Right. And well, that's what it is. I mean, the thing. first one was, was an incredible episode. You know, we had so much fun. That's the one with lit. the, uh, when you was buying, right, they put you on the block. Mm -hmm. Is that the one? Yeah, yeah that's block, our most man. viral clip where Woody yeah. was telling the story. Yeah. Eve directed that episode. Yeah, that episode yeah, that was, was fire. fire. Yeah. That was fire. fire. That was a fire yeah. episode. Was um, yeah. That was a good episode to be, like, your first TV directorial yeah, was, day. Yeah, like, no. That that was that's crazy. crazy. I remember Courtney calling me. It's like, yo, this is, like, one of my favorite episodes. Nice. You know what I mean? And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, cool, dope. Like, I... I felt real good because I'm like, okay, cool. Y'all believe, you know what I mean? And right. it was filled with so much action yeah. and, like, fighting yeah. arguments really and, like, scenes. layered characters. And you had to literally direct all of us through right. that. So that's kind of dope. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a lot, right? Like, first time directing. Lot. But, um, <laughs> but you know, and then, like, the second time around, I think the second show I ever did, like, quick story was, like, with ABC. Like, you know, they, um... Fifth was like, yo, check him out. So I went through all the meetings and all that. And then it was, like, it was for life. Mm -hmm. And ABC was pushing back. It was like, yo, you're brand new. Like, you don't have to. All I have was power. Like, right. and they couldn't even see it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because yeah. it hadn't come out yet. Right. <laughs> yeah. So like, producers fought for me. I ended up doing it. And then like that was the episode that um, it dealt with George Floyd and everything else. But like, that was my second one ever out the game. You know, out the gate. And it was like. Man, they put me for an Emmy and they put the episode in for an Emmy. Like, best directing, best episode. What? So after that, it was just like, come right. on, man. Right. Like, stop playing right. with well, me. Well, yeah, stop, stop playing, playing with me. Like, what are we doing? Right. Period. You know what stop I'm saying? Playing. Like, right. you know, and the thing is, because I think people see me so laid back and so mm -hmm. chill. Right. Very laid back. But I've back. been through it. Right. <laughs> I've been through it. Like, no, I get, like, frustrated and, yeah. you know, I get annoyed and shit like that. And, yeah. you know, but I hold it in because I feel like, Obviously, if I show that, mm -hmm. right. or I start yelling and just being my feelings, like, right. 
it rolls down. Yeah, and you're the director. You're, you're basically yeah. the quarterback, the team yeah. captain of that yeah. episode, and you're, you know, you, right. you kind of got to whatever you show up right. with is... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, so I go through it. Like, you know what I mean? I just don't show it. Right. Yeah. You know? exactly. I will I will go That's back right. to when you said that you took acting classes. Like it's evident that you did because right. you work with actors so well. And I right. think that's why we gelled immediately mm-hmm. was because like, oh yeah. I remember I think I had day one of 106 or mm. Michael hadn't worked yet and I texted Mike. I was like, this guy's it. Like yeah. this guy's fucking. Yeah. I mean, you know, for me, man, I just like I, I like to um allow artists to paint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all artists. So at the end of the day, it's like you know, you've been reading the scene over and over and over before you come to work. So you have a whole different perspective on like what that is that you might have a different perspective than what I thought it was, right? right? Or or whatever the case is, but like, and, and you come in and you you got it. Like, no, that's exactly how I read it and how I felt it should be played. Right. And you're doing it. And then I think after that, it's just coming in and having little tweaks. But, you know, um, I mean, that doesn't happen much where like an actor comes in like completely off like mm-hmm. off the whole tone of the scene like right. yo that was not it i don't know where you was at last <laughs> night right but that ain't it you know what i mean but it's like um for, but for the most part it's just like allowing y'all to do your thing you know what i mean like I, that's really important because and know, we have a language like yeah. an actor language and yeah. sometimes if i feel like if directors if they don't take classes or know much about acting you don't know how to communicate mm-hmm. to the actor and then you have us sitting here trying to decode a message right. like what does this director right. want what do they right. mean right. so knowing how to communicate with your actors is yeah. key huge all the directors out there is key yeah i mean you know my my, my yeah. thing what i try to do most of the time and I, I think i did it with y'all but i think right after the table read um you know, I try to reach out to the cast and be mm-hmm. like, yo, if there's anything you want to talk about the scene, mm-hmm. let's talk about it before we get to work. So, so, that, mapped, so it's mapped out. So yeah, so it's mapped out. Room. We get in, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, sometimes you're like, oh, he moves really fast. But it's like, Cause, cause I, because you got to right. fucking, Everything's you know, I right. prepped. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, prep, prep is key. Like, if you don't prep, like, yeah. you know, you get actors who want to direct and then they come in. And they experience the prepping process, and they're like, like "Oh damn, shit, yeah. this is a yeah. lot." Whole different yeah. Beast. yeah, it's a whole lot, yeah. you know. It's, it's not just memorize the lines and be like, "What are we doing today?" Yeah. <laughs> right. You know yeah. what I mean? You got to remember everybody's lines. Right. Everything. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been a blessing, man. Um, you know, doing doing the show, um, Ghost and the whole universe. You know what I mean? It's, it's it's been dope, man. Like every time I come in, I always come in with this intention and feeling that this is my first time. Right. Mm-hmm. Always. Like, it's just... Were you nervous your first time? Fuck it. Yeah. Like, you were nervous on <laughs> Ghost? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, let me tell you something. Matter of fact, the first scene was with you. Yeah, see, that's, yeah. Corey I... and Shalim, right? Shalim Ortiz. Uh-huh. With yeah. Sh- yeah. Right? It was the nighttime. Y'all was in the, in the, in the car. Yeah, and we were in the back of the squad car. And he chopped y'all up, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I remember the funny shit was, I remember being in the trailer, right? And even though we scouted, no, I think the first one we did was at you, but I'm saying but that was so early was in the a, day. What, was, what scene was you that? You was walking out from the college. You mm, were doing like a, a you was talking to uh, your mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what scene you're talking but, about. Because I knew I you, like I wasn't, it wasn't, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, but I didn't really know you and everybody else. So I remember just being in the trailer, like, okay, cool, we're going to go. So funny shit is I get in the van and I sit in the front. And then Shaleem sat in the back. And then I think Corey sat in the back too. So now I was kicking it with Shaleem. I'm like, yo, um, like, where you from and all that? You Puerto Rican and stuff. And I could tell he didn't want to talk to me, right? He's mm-hmm. looking at me like, oh, who the fuck is this dude talking to me? Mm-hmm. Like, and then we get out the van, and it was like, oh, right, yo, the director's here. And then and he's he like, just looked at me, right? He looked at me like, yo, okay, Dana's you got around. me, right? <laughs> but we laughed. But That's the funny thing was, I remember getting outside, and the producer was there, and it was like 300 people. Like, people don't realize how massive Huge. these yeah, sets are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive. And I got there, and I was just like, I looked around, and I literally, my heart came out my ass. And I was like, yo, this is real. Yeah. I got to lead all of these people. Right. Yeah. Millions of dollars. I bet you it's almost a million dollars a day. Oh, hell yeah. Easy, more. easy, easy, right? Millions of dollars on the line. Oh, for one day yo, production. Nah, listen, it, it was much. easy that, right? But then it was just like, so I went into like this, okay, how do I hide from everybody? Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to do this for anybody. So thank God the scene was in the car. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> remember I said, yo, let's all go in the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got in the car and I felt sheltered. And mm-hmm. then I was like, okay, this is what we're doing. And then mm-hmm. once I got out the car, I was like, okay, I'm in. I'm mm-hmm. in the game. Nah, but right. it was just <laughs> that moment, that first time, I was just like, oh, shit. Yeah, you had to just step through. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, 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 I was just like, yo, 
what am I doing? I and just, now, now Eve's different. Me and Mike pulled okay. up to the Raising Canaan set mm-hmm. on two weeks ago, and we put up an Eve is control this and that. I'm like this. He's dude, like, yo, we gotta go. He is absolutely like the last he was day. in we got his to be. stride. <laughs> yeah. Bad. It, 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 honestly, they over there having eight hour days, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh wow. I wish. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you I feel wish. like you move fast? Well, duh, you do the prepping. So besides right. that, do you think because you have the editing background and the camera stuff, you can see exactly how you're going to cut things? A hundred percent, right? So, like, people understand, like, I've been editing, like, I edit all my music videos all the way mm. to, like, I stopped doing music videos. Like, you know, I just, my last couple of videos I did was with Mary J. Mm. And, like, I edited those videos. Like, as oh, busy wow. as I am, yeah. I still sit there and edit my own videos. Right. So and editing is a lot. Yeah, okay. it takes a lot of time. So, like, but my thing is, like, because we stepping into a scene, like we talk about it beforehand or whatever, or I know if I don't hear from you that you got you got it. Okay. And so you come in and we talk it out, right? It's, it's a collaboration. Like, it, that's really what it's about is collaboration, understanding what the scene is. But Absolutely. I think, like, when you and I get into it, like, mm-hmm. I mean, you ask me stuff. Like, yeah, Yo, you, what? I, I don't that? play. I'll right? be asking. And I'm looking, I'm like, you good. Like, you good. You what good. you think? What yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you good. I think, I think, um... You know, by the third take or whatever, everything just flows and mm-hmm. yeah. your body movement and where you land on your mark and mm-hmm. stuff like that and where you're looking. I think once we got that locked in, like, like you got it. So, yeah. like, I'm going to do my my master, you know what I mean? And then just get into the mediums and tights. And, and like, really, like, what a lot of people don't understand is, like, actors go in when you're on their tight. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they yeah, know. You got the clothes. They right. know. Yeah, the clothes. They're saving everything they for that. they saving everything yep. for that. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, you know, but the funny shit is I try to, um, I might have done it with y'all. I don't know. But, but like, I try to go to one actor and talk shit about the other actor. Yes. Be like, yo. Right? <laughs> I think I did it with you. Yes. I'm, yo, they trying to bring it. They trying, yo, you got to step yeah. your shit up. Yeah. <laughs> like, you and and he'll say, like, he'll give you, like, a little no, like, uh, say this to this person, like to rile that person up right. even more. I'm like, oh, okay, you get right. personal now. And then the other person get taken on. They're like, oh shit. And yeah. then hold on, what's going on? It's, it's nice. Like a, but you get like punk. you get real shit, right? Yeah. You know, because you sense it as an actor. You sense it. You're like, okay, they coming. Mm-hmm. They coming for my head. So right. let me go. Yeah. Let me, you know, do it's my nice. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Did uh, Patina say anything about me while you <clears throat> while you were over there? <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just, I was just wondering. I was just wondering. Man, um, but no, yeah. it is, it is crazy because like I'll be sitting in my dressing room and I listen to um, like music videos. Like we'll right. play music videos before we go down. Right. How, you probably have oh, billions of views at this point. Like oh, yeah. I think one video you, you did, I'm the one with Bieber, right? Yeah. That I, has I, like it, 500 million, right? Oh wow. No, that one's like almost at two billion. <laughs> So, so in one video, and you've done how uh, hundreds of music videos? Yeah, at least four hundred. Like I got. Hey, um, being sober. Well, right? you got Cardi B. I like it. Yeah. With right. Jay Balvin and hey, Bad being Bunny. Sober my I shit. was just listening that to that. That was like at one point six billion or something like that. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, it's crazy. I wish I had like a one penny out of every view because I don't get none of that. I mean, you pulled up in the Porsche. That's ridiculous. You pulled up in the 911. So. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, That's some know. ghost money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. ridiculous, though. Like, yeah. so, like, all the YouTube shit, like, the directors don't see none of that. None of that. Mm-hmm. What? And I think that's just this thing where they, the union and stuff, they kind of been, they dabble in and out of it trying mm-hmm. to figure it out because... I feel like they should get, they should get paid like producers get paid on the yeah. music. Like, right. the yeah. producer gets their percentage. Something. Yeah. I mean, you know who gets all that money? You know, YouTube, you get all the advertisement mm-hmm. and all that, and who makes the money is the label, and I think the artist gets a small percentage. Mm-hmm. But the labels are like, come on, $1.5 billion in yeah, one commercial crazy. and ads and all that? It's like, a lot of bread. It's a lot of money. Yeah. That's you know what I mean? This one right here is going to hit a billion. Yeah. yeah. We need yeah, that. Yo, please. YouTube. Can we can just need to push the E for Can I have a penny yeah, yeah. He's going to get a billion. Yeah. We just need y'all to like it. Yeah, we're going to get it. And subscribe. Yeah. All right, bet. Boys. All right, bet. <laughs> Let, let's get in the episode. Yes, make sure you like it, subscribe. It only helps us. Um, and we're excited to just bring the, the ghost content this year. So this is episode I think it's time to jump 303. Into it. Yeah. Yeah, let, so let, let's get into it. The Human beginning. capital. Human capital. <laughs> okay. Listen, the beginning, so, the montages. Yeah. Eve be always going crazy with the montages. Yep. Those be my favorite. Those be my favorites, honestly. Yeah, the montage, man. That was the uh when the clothing store. Yeah. Oh, trying yeah. on all yep. the suits. Yeah. <laughs> Met the man is in the cut watching y'all get dressed yeah. up. No, I think that that was fire too. Because, I love that scene. because um well, I think when he asked y'all about the money, I was like, like you pulled out a stupid. I was like, knife. I was like, yeah, business boom. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I threw it up in the air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was dope. That yeah, was nah, dope. that scene was super lit. Did that's you dope. have that in your head already? How you wanted to cut it, or was that all in the edit? 
I think I think it was. I mean, I knew what it was, right, right based off the script. But I think um, in the edit, yeah, like you know, when 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 I get into it with the editor, like we just try to figure out where the things should drop, and that's another thing. So like talking about editing, this is like. When I'm shooting, I kind of know what I'm gonna use. Mm, right. You know what I mean? I'm like, we're never gonna go this far into this, so we're mm. never gonna go. You know what I mean? Like, it's just really about getting all the pieces and then putting that montage together. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think I think the hardest part about that whole montage was just like having Effie drive. Yeah, that was cool. Mm. It was yeah. real. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it was real. Yeah. To yeah, all these she was different wiping. Schools. Yeah. That yeah, and nice. wiping, yeah. 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 I think I think it might have been warm that day, and we had to front like it was cold. So yeah, it wasn't yeah, cold, I don't remember. Yeah, nah, those days be the worst when it's hot on yeah. set, and then you got to throw in the, oh, the, the fat ass. It was like somewhere in the middle, but I remember we had to fog up the window and make yeah. it seem like it's freezing out. You had to wipe it down and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, that was, that was, um, that was dope. It was kind of cool in the cut where, so Drew was ha having sex, and was it Everett? Was it with Everett? I know no. some guy from Grinder. Oh, he he was yeah. like moaning, yeah. and then all of a sudden it cut to <laughs> Lorenzo oh, on the ground, punch, yes. on the ground moaning like, oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of like cut in. Like, that did was you crazy. Did, was that you doing that? Like, were you like, oh, this is a good moment, or? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, yeah, man. <laughs> It's. It, I mean, you might have saw the latest edit. I haven't seen the latest. Edit. They might have changed one or two little things. Uh huh. But at what point did he come in? So, so Drew was um ha like having sex with right. the, what, his grinder right, date, right. and then um he the, the guy was. But moaning. he got he got the text right. That's when he got the text. No, no but th there was no text. It was literally. Cut, it was a smash cut to. Okay. Uh, him moaning to uh, Lorenzo, Lorenzo on the ground, moaning, getting yeah. beat up. Oh, after he got bit when when Kane dropped him off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then as they finished, then Kane comes in to Lorenzo's scene and was like, you know. Right. He was it, like, it was, he was like, I'm letting you off easy right now. It was right. like a good little boom yeah. boom. It was happening so fast. Yeah. I got I got to see that. I didn't see that part. It was like, good. I know I saw the whole episode in society, right. but what happens sometimes is like, um, after you cut the episode, whatever, like. Then the network gets it, and they might rearrange some of the scenes, right. and so they'll just move stuff around. You know what right. I mean? Like it's never sometimes on on script per right. se. They'll just move the scenes around. So, yeah. but yeah, I mean, the sounds fire. I just yeah. didn't see that part. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't yeah. get that. Edit. Once, like Courtney said to me one time, she's like, "You hand in your edit, and that's it. All right. You will never see it into the ads, and I put my claws into it." Mm. I'm like, "Thanks." Mm. Yeah. Mm. But for the most part, though, I could I do say that when I do deliver my episodes. It's always like ninety-five to ninety-eight percent what I gave them. Right. Oh, good. So they rarely change it. I like Usually that. it's that they might shift the scene or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then next we get into we're in the warehouse. Right. And this is the scene where Obi puts the pictures of our family oh, yeah. down and threatens. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That they was scary. Going crazy. They yeah. Said, that was tense, right? Yeah. 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 That was. That he was puts real. he puts my family. He puts he, um he puts uh, Estelle. Yep. And your then, grandmother. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and me. Stella. You. Toya's yeah. like, how did I look in that picture? Oh, so funny. <laughs> no, when I read that script and I saw my name on the thing, I was like, oh, that's it for, them. <laughs> right. for me at the end of this episode. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I'm going. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's you see that, yeah right? I was like, oh, Obi and damn Noma. Yeah, and then he and then he called Alex Orphan Annie. Yeah, he's like, like, he's, he's like, you didn't get off orphan good Orphan Annie. Annie. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that was a dope scene. That was I think that's when I realized like this shit is real. Yeah, this is real. Now right. we really yeah. gotta start moving. Right, we gotta move the weight. Yeah. We gotta move the weight. So then yeah. it kinda gets into like these are the stakes of the season and right. this is kind of what we're gonna have to do this this year. Like this is the driving force yeah, like for the Like we said, everybody has their, pushing forward. Yeah. Everybody has their own reasons, but this is the main reason that everybody's like. Yeah, he had an incredible up. voice too. Oh, yeah. he's so good. Incredible voice. Yeah. She's mad stern. He's this so year. good. Like, we yeah, I saw him presence. last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad present. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, so so and then it kinda in that scene in conjunction with that right. is like Effie starts talking about how she has a certain number that she wants to make and she's out. Mm -hmm. And we kind of see like, okay, these are more of the motivations for these guys to sell. Like, we're getting closer to like, because Tariq obviously season one and two, there were outside reasons why he had to. Now we're kind of getting closer to like, does Tariq want to trap for himself? Does you know what I mean? Like right. it's getting in, closer to be like they ha they have to make a decision. Right. Is, is Brayden still loving this? Like I kind of that's why I kind of like is is we're slowly getting towards like really getting to the thick of it. You right. know. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everyone's story, even in that piece, that scene, it was clear like right. what was going to drive each character mm -hmm. for that for actually the whole season. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. so now you know after that, of course, Diana and Celine. <laughs>
Lord have mercy. I remember that uh, scene when you directed us coming out of the thing. You sped yeah. us up a little bit. That felt good. Uh, Salim is over here. Ah, t- oh, I was going to say something. Michael. Yeah, you know, ridiculous. everybody taking your girl, you know what I'm this saying? Ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, no, the funny shit was like, Salim after we had Googling. did that. Yeah, he's Googling, talking about, like, your dad. And you was like, what? Like, Yeah, like, what are like, you why doing? Why are you being nosy? a weirdo right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah not only that, shit. you could ask me. Yeah, like right. that. That so I like. But this is like, let me ask you, like, this is something that, that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. this is something like that people do today, though, right? They be like, let me, they meet somebody, right? let me see what's up with so and so. Right, like, but you don't about. bring it up. Right, he was bold enough to be like, yeah, Google your dad, yeah, manslaughter, da da da. I'm like, like you doing too much. Yeah. yeah. Also, also, we talked last episode about uh, how we were at the the watch party, and he had that line to you, and everyone at the watch party went. Oh, yes. he's like, he's like, what it's a corny line. Oh, with a face that pretty, you should always be smiling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, oh. uh, but that's kind of like PD does a great job. Like, yeah, because PD smooth as hell in real life. Right, right. So <laughs> is this is this kind of like what Diana needs? Like mm-hmm. the last person she was with, Tariq, obviously, mm-hmm. like he's a fucking killer. He's crazy. He's out yeah. there. Like, <laughs> is, is this is this a good balance for maybe you know maybe yeah, she's going a little life. too far left but like <laughs> is, is this a, 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 uh, something that could be sustained and and make Diana feel comfortable what do you think I think she still very much in her mind loves Tariq and maybe I mean kind of like a rebound you know what I'm saying he's so stupid kind of like a rebound <laughs> she's just attaching herself in a way right yeah because she still <laughs> loves Tariq but Celine is nice you know what I'm saying and he's Something new for her. Right. Um, something completely different from the Tejadas. Right. I mean, you know, so yeah, it, it's it's a nice little vibe for right. her for now. We'll right. See. And then Kane popped in when, Yo. when you guys were talking. Was that improv? I was... He's funny. He, dude, Woody is hilarious. That might have been, nigga ever. I, I think that might have been improv. When he said some, that shit sound that made that the fuck up. Made up. When he, when yeah. he, when he said his I name. I think that was written. Like, I think that was written, the but up. the way he delivered it was like, it was, yeah. it was hella nah, funny. Nah, it was funny as shit. Like, <laughs> my whole thing was like, yo, would he actually come into, like, does he come into your school like that? Like, and then just like hand you a gun or money? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But like, her reaction, because there are a lot of sometimes things that happen like that we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. But um, that's true to Kane, who he is. Right. No, he don't right. give a fuck. Right. But it was right. also true to Diana and it, and it served the story where, she, where Diana was like, what the fuck? Like, right. yeah. it showed the stakes, which is right. kind of like, what I, we I'm, I'm finally doing yeah. what I want to do. I'm finally going to school. You yes. over here bringing me guns. You trying to ruin this for me. Right. Right. right, right. And it's not what, like, of course, Diana always wanted to go to school since mm. the beginning of this whole journey for her. Right. And she finally gets to, and now she's finding out it's not exactly the way she had right. wanted it to be. Mm-hmm. She has to work at the candy store with this Stansfield shirt. Like, right. she's used to wearing, yeah, like, yeah, used to this. designer. Used to the and drip. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know? So it's definitely different for her. Mm-hmm. You know? And she has to find her way through. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say, because I'm afraid to say a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can, we can cut anything. Oh, true. Yeah, no, we're, we're not lying. We, we can cut yeah. anything, but... Yeah, it is. It is kind of funny. A lot of times, like a lot of the characters on the show are like, "I'm broke right now," but we're wearing like full on <laughs> Amiri, Celine, yes. this and that. Yo. It's like, like we're bro, I, need, I gotta make twenty bands tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Fit is twenty bands. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, it's, uh, right. Go to Second Street, <laughs> right. dog. Sell the Sell your clothes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. Yeah. And we got Monet over here. She's planning with Davis to go in and talk to Detective Whitman, mm-hmm. which is kind of dangerous. He's over here. He's he's hungry. Like I said, yeah. bro. He's seen. It. Yo, he's was seen. that the was that the first time? In power that they came together in the scene. Um, no, was it? Did they get? I think it happened in season two when I started like stealing the money to get my dad so out. Right. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That was so, a, yeah exactly. That's then they fact. started interacting because of Zeke. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. right. How, yes. How's directing Mary? Is it you have a lot of fun with that? I mean, you know her for years right. on, on. No, videos. so there's a crazy shit like with Mary. I'm gonna tell you what she said to me the first uh, first season of Ghost uh, after we did the table read, mm. and I and I went up to her. We was talking. And I said, "Hey, um, it's crazy. We got a lot of mutual friends, and like, and we've been in parties together and that, but we just never really spoke." And she said to me, um, and I said, "You know, we never shot a video, or whatever." And she was just like, she straight up looked at me and she was just like, "Yo, that's because you were meant to do greater things with me here." Mm. Damn. Yo, that shit was deep. She hit me with that shit. I just yeah. want to. I want to do the Omari and go in the tub and yeah, like just, start crying just in the shower. Curl up like, mm. You know what I mean? Like it was. It was deep, man. But um, That's yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think I think with her, 
being that, you know, I think it's always important to just have people who come from the same place, so mm -hmm. to speak, right? So, like, being that she did music and, and grew up how she grew up in Yonkers and all that, and I grew up in the Bronx, I think that, um, you know, just having somebody there, like, I realize that when I do work with a lot of these artists that go cross over to TV and stuff like that, or just people who grew up like how I grew up, right? Like, with nothing, and then you hear now, I think for them, it, um, it's just dope. Like, they look, they, they see themselves. Right. And they're like, okay, dope. We got another one here with us. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? And they just, they embrace you differently. So mm -hmm. I think with Mary, you know, like, I was talking, I remember I was just talking to her, like, I said, I just kind of threw away all the acting shit, like, how do I talk to actors? Mm -hmm. And I just started talking to her, like, we in the streets. Right. And I was like, yo, you know what this is. Like, you gotta come over in and do this shit. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I went into that, and she was like, bet. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think I honestly think that's why, like, especially this show and the right. Power Universe, because, like, that's a lot of our actors on the show as well. Like, right. you can speak that, you know? Like, you, there's yeah. some directors that come in, and they're incredible directors, but they don't know how to... Uh, uh, writers as well, they right. don't know how to... There's a certain lingo, there's a code, there's this. And a lot of the writers don't know that. A lot of the directors right. don't know that. So when you come in, it's special because, you know, you've been there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's crazy. I used to think that was like... A hindrance, yeah. No, but no, no, I mean, like... <laughs> no, but like sometimes you come in, you're like, oh, maybe they think of me this word. It's like a Right, no, 100%, way. 100%. And I used to be really conscious about that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, man, do I... Like, I don't speak like... Uh, like, right. I went to film school and, like, talked oh, the lingo see, and stuff yeah, like that. Okay. And it took me a minute to just kind of understand that. But I remember, like, just talking to people outside of this. And it was like, you know, don't change who you are. Like, yeah. I've been through so many different meetings, like, with higher up, like, heads of studios. And I remember I went in one time and I was, like, hair all gel back and shit. Got the button-down shirt. I'm coming in like I'm going to college or some shit. Right? <laughs> right. And after we did our meeting, she said to me, she turned around, she said, do me a favor. Come back tomorrow as, as Eva Vera. Oh wow! Damn. And then you know I was like, oh shit, okay. So I came the next day with the hat on and everything. And Courtney said the same shit to me too. Right. Mm. Courtney was like, yo, never get rid of like the hat thing. Right. Like, the yeah. hat, like that's you. It's your biggest asset. Is yeah, like what she's like, what you, you are. are. Right. Yeah. Just be you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I started looking at people like Spike and everybody else, and they just are this who they are. You know what yeah. I mean? And so like for me, it's like, yo, this is who I am. And like even watching like Anthony Hemingway too. Like I remember mm, watching him on set. Like he's, so like he's one of us, right? Like right. he he moves around. And he, you know what I'm saying? I was just kind of like that's dope. You know, you know what I mean? Just kind of watching, and knowing true. that I could be myself. Yeah, right. Yeah, you got to. You know what I'm you saying? But but with Mary and even Method Man, like it's just it's just the talk and and you know um, understanding what it is and kind of guiding them or directing them into like what this thing is, but also speaking to them on that level, like the level of like yo, we here together, like right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We come from over there, but now we here, here. And let's show them what we got. That's because let's keep it going. Yeah. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's really what it's about. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And then, so then we go to the scene in the penthouse where Kane mm. wants to always take out. Always trying to take somebody out. Yeah, he oh, is. Always is. trying to take somebody out. Hot head. <laughs> oh, that was we had the kitchen table. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, Kane, Kane wanted to take out the Castillos. Um, Dude. Right. Dude, he was like, nah, we got to take out the Russians. Yeah. Drew right. was like, nah, and you was like, what the fuck's going on yeah, here? Yeah, who the fuck died and made you yeah, king? Because he's over What's going here, on? like, mm. over here trying to take over. And my poppy. <laughs> poppy, poppy. Right. Um, is it? <laughs> Shout out to Berto. Okay? Yeah. Right. Oh, the man. He's, he's not responding to it. I'm over here like... Hey, What's happening? why right. are you letting him call all the shots? It doesn't right. make sense. Yeah. And nobody knows why yeah, he's and not nobody. responding. Right. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I think he already got lumped up at that point too, right? No, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was yeah. just, that was the yeah. um, last scene of 302. Yeah, yeah. beat him yeah. up. Yeah. They just beat him up. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is kind of like Kane, Kane's in control now. Right. Yep. Kane's taken over the whole family. He, You know, it's kind of his. Mm -hmm. And... He's make he's calling the shots, which is which but is it, wild. But it also Huge. to me it also seems to me like he's not the smartest guy. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's you why he's crazy. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. he's just doing it's, shit. It's like, dangerous. Of it's dangerous. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Dangerous. Right. But I also think that's what makes that character so interesting because mm -hmm. you never know what he's gonna right. do next. Right. Like, yeah. Why? Never know what he's gonna do. Right. right. So it is kind of cool that the writers were like, "Well, let's have let's show the audience mm -hmm. because people are always like, well, what would it be if Kane was involved? If they gave him what he wanted? Exactly. They give him what he wanted and now, oh shit, maybe this isn't the best thing for this family. Right. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, that, it, it, it's a wild thing what, what 
unfolds this season with Even that. Even to oh, yeah. see the dynamics change. Like, I watched... So I tried to, like, recap on my own today, too, yes. this morning. And yes. seeing uh, Lorenzo, he shifts. Mm-hmm. And he... Not that he played the son, right. but he just... kind of shrinks. He, lo- he shrinks. Yeah. Like, all of his power was... Mm-hmm. He just, just pulled right out of right. away. Right. Right. It was <laughs> beautiful to see because when I look at Lorenzo, especially as the character, he's this big, mm-hmm. like... A strong, a strong, strong Latin man. Man, yeah. that's my yeah. dad. Yeah. And to see him shrink to my older brother, who is just so wild, loose cannon, impulsive. Yeah. You don't really know what he's gonna do. He doesn't. Right. He's not strategic. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a nice dynamic. To see. Yeah, it is cool because you see Monet in charge, and yeah. then you see Lorenzo in charge. Right. Now Kane's Kane in charge. Yeah. Right. Who are we gonna see in Who's charge next? next? Mm-hmm. Who are we gonna see in charge next? Oh yeah. Let's let's get into meeting Banga. Yeah, Banga. Yeah, he's tough. RSJ. RSJ. Yep. Super he rich killed guy. that scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we what? see, you know me. I see RSJ, I see money. Yeah. <laughs> I see yeah. money. Another way to make some bread. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? But um, he's giving Tariq advice mm-hmm. on undercutting the market. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's talking about the same market that Tariq is <laughs> right, in. Right, right, right. But right. Tariq, you know, he's a businessman, so he, it all carries over. It all yeah, business is business, Yeah, business is business. Yeah, right? business right. Is business, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he gave, you, he gave you good tips right there. Yeah, right? he gave him some so. game. It kind of yeah. becomes a theme of the episode mm-hmm. later, which we'll get into. But yeah, it, it kind of becomes, he right. gives him advice and Tariq takes it, as we see later. But have you worked with Banga before? Nah, that was the first time. Banga's been around forever. He's been yeah. on every show, The Wire, the wire right? all of it. A bunch of shit, yeah, yeah he's yeah. been around. And Banga's working fire. with him was crazy. No, yeah, he's, he's very, fire. like, meticulous. Yeah, now and he's, like, mm. locked in. He's like, yeah, let's do it. No, both of y'all killed that, because it was, like, smooth, mm. natural, to the point where it felt like you guys could have been ad yeah. Like, Like, there was no script. Yeah, it was, was so clean. That was director stuff right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, for real. That's what happens when you know how to talk to your actors. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. And we got Detective Whitman, still wilding. He's pressing Monet during the inter- interrogation. Mm-hmm. She, she actually gives us some information. Right. Oh, right. She gives us some, she gives us some that, information. That scene was so dope. She gives oh. us some information. Yeah, like, I remember telling Matt, I was like, yo, jump up. Like, like yeah. just, like, mm-hmm. turn that switch on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, just go at him. Right. And um, it was dope watching her do that, man. I was like, yes, Mary. We're going to take a quick break from the episode. Our friends at Manscaped are back, and they are here with a deal that you cannot pass over this Easter season. Listen, man, you don't want to hide your Easter eggs behind tall grass. You know what I'm saying? You got to... Gotta let them flourish, baby. So basically what you're saying, Mike, is you gotta make sure the lawn is mowed? Yeah. And that's exactly what I'm saying, my brother. And to make sure, the, you know, the lawn is mowed, what do we use? Manscaped. Manscaped, baby. He called me my brother, which that's one for me. But here's the thing. <laughs> we use our friends at Manscaped. And listen, you could put all your eggs in the perfect basket with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside this package, you'll find the Lawn Mower 4.0 Trimmer. Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, my personal favorite. Crop Reviver Toner. The Performance Boxer Breeze. Those are my favorite. So comfortable. So comfortable. And a fire travel bag to hold all these goodies. I mean, where are you going to go without a fire bag? Come on now. And the Lawnmower 4.0 even has an LED light on it, so you can keep your eyes on the prize even in the dark. April is Easter, but it's also Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to bring awareness to testicular cancer. And this is the most common form of cancer in men ages 15 to 35. So help us out with the We Save Balls initiative. Save 20% off and free shipping with the code CREW at manscaped.com. Hop into the best deal of the year with Manscaped. Can't beat it, baby. 20% off, free shipping. Come on now. Now, the boys is getting back to the episode. Mary right, was stepping. Mary was in in, in the zone a lot yeah. this season because okay. like, because of what she's going through. Like it's not the same just bossy. Like it's not the same boss lady Monet. It's not right. the same shot calling mm-hmm. the shots and like knowing that you're calling the shots. Now it's like she's like more involved. Yeah, yeah. Side. Mm-hmm. she's vulnerable. vulnerable when have hell. we ever seen Monet cry? She don't cry. know what's going on. I know. Like come I love on, yeah. I love this. But she snapped right when she mentioned um, snap. The gang. What was it? The um, the GTG. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She she because she got up and. That Davis was out. right. Yeah. Davis was telling her, "Don't do this," and she's like, "I got it." Right. Mm-hmm. She shows up, fell right the, into the trap. Right. She yeah. let the emotions right. get the best of her, and exactly. she spills the GTG. What, what she spilled that she thinks she thinks that it was a guap that killed exactly. Zeke. Mm-hmm. Right. And I mean, it's never good when the feds get right. She, yeah, she mm-hmm. gave him that little piece to run with. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. That's you a lot. I mean? Right. And even if it wasn't them, 
that's still like another piece because they can add to the puzzle. Right. Every see every season, every whatever, you, there's a board, and then right. they just add little pieces on. 100%. You got, you mm-hmm. got Tariq. I in mean, the we middle. see that in this episode. Right. The whole the board back and forth. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Tariq taking RJ's advice. He's like, listen, let me apply this. Let me apply this to the business. Let's see what oh we could God. do. Mm-hmm. What we could do. They then they decide to start up the. You know the new program, right? Because so because basically we're we're now selling on Wall Street. Mm-hmm. The which, boys made the decision, right? We're at we're at Weston Holdings. Made the Wall Street now. But Tariq is telling Brayden, we um, how are we gonna take their customers? Like mm-hmm. we're new people, like they're not right. gonna fuck with us. Mm-hmm. Tariq takes RSJ's advice mm-hmm. to undercut the market, genius. And we, you know, he, he actually even says. Uh, a thousand cheap customers is mm-hmm. gonna get you way more bread mm-hmm. right. than a hundred high end customers. Mm-hmm. Right. So Tariq takes his advice. Takes his advice. We undercut the market. Business starts booming. You know. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, that's usually... no crap, no frap. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no cap, no cap, all frap. All frap. Yeah. That's the new course correct. I kept the little the, cup. Yeah. I kept I fucking like... that up. I was like, no frap, go fuck. I was like, another <laughs> take. I was like, no nah, cap, yeah, frap. That shit is tough. Yeah. That shit is hard to say, but that shit is elite. You know, course correct is now revamped. Yeah. And we got lattes now. Yeah, we got lattes. <laughs> put them in the false bottoms. Put them in the false bottoms. Yeah, false bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom got the, you know, little... Y'all might have started something if it wasn't obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, like, there yeah. has been viral stuff that has, that has gone around of, like, people selling on campuses and this and that. Mm. And they always tag me and Michael. They're like, course oh, correct shit. in real life. Right. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, and, and but that whole thing started because you, um, you the, with your uncle, right? And then, remember the... Uh, right. Because it had that little uh, altercation. Um, With the Crash Coin guys. Right. right. And so, that's what gave you the idea. Right. Braden Clocks, because he, he said, do you work with those guys? And he's like, yeah, they're investors in Weston Holdings. They're right. criminals. <laughs> it's like a, worth a trillionth of a cent. So Braden's like, oh, this, uh, uh, Weston Holdings owns this. We could use this right. mm-hmm. for Crash Coin. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where that comes in. And Tariq comes up with the idea to kind of... Use repurpose course right. correct. Mm-hmm. Was it was it Brayden or was it Tariq that mm. was it Tariq? It was really both, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah it was, it was I really think both of them. It was like a little, a little collaborative. Yeah. Some sometimes when you're like reading the scripts, you're like trying. Well, to... I think he kind of had the 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 like you know the idea, and then you kind of had the means to get it done. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Like right. With using the facility and stuff like that. Right. The coffee. Well, speaking a... of the means to get it uh, to get it done, <laughs> you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Come on, Facts. guys! Like, Facts. you guys are fucking what's doing. Up? What's Facts. up? What's going on? You didn't do what you were supposed to Bro. do. We needed a white, not black person, so that the Tejadas and everybody else can stay out of the mix. Mm-hmm. That was so funny. And you got fro like you were just freezing up. Brandon's line come... response was, "Oh yeah, using the race car. Got it." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when Kane was like, when Kane was like, "It needs to be a white, uh, it needs to be a white face to do." It. And then, and then he goes to dab up Kane at the end, and he does, and he's like, "Oh yeah, that was hilarious." That's that was funny <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait, was that shit. scripted, or he just literally? No, that was nah, just that me wasn't. And he just walked away. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing that. I was like, "Yo, keep that." Keep yeah, it was Woody. Yeah. Woody is always doing funny shit like that. Yeah. Oh <laughs> but Woody God. and I actually, like, we do kind of have a great rapport where we know the dynamic and the fans love it. Yes. So we lean into it. I'm like, because, right, Brayden wants to be Tariq. Mm-hmm. But he sees Kane, he's like, this guy's a fucking badass. Like, mm-hmm. I want to be kind of like this right. guy, too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. every time he sees Kane, he's like, what are we doing? Like, trap house, right. whatever? Kane yeah. Like, right, right. yeah. Yeah, relax, relax. relax. <laughs> he's but always it's such a funny down. dynamic that it's like, <laughs> I fucking just love it. And the writers lean into it good, Mm -hmm. so. That shit is so bad. We'll see a little bit more of that this season, but yeah. Brayden has to go kill the the Russian connect because that was uh, Drew's Mm -hmm. idea. Was that Drew's idea? I think so. Yeah, it was Drew's idea to kill the Russian connect because at first, um, Kane wanted to kill... um, the, the uh, right, the Castillos. Yeah, yeah the Castillos. Right. Yeah, Kane wanted to kill Castillos and then he Drew froze up. Yeah. Right. He froze yeah. up, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 you man. had to come save his ass again. Yeah, man. Yeah, Listen, man. Right. Like Elsa. Up, I froze like hoodie. Elsa, and then Effie goes, nah, Elsa would have pulled the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> popped up with the hoodie, gloves. Right. That was a fun scene. It was cold as hell that night. Though. It looked like Right, it so we shot cold. that in Long Island City. We shot that right at the restaurant right behind the Coca Cola sign. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that, yeah, that, or that Coca-Cola sign right. that lights up. Oh, yeah, we were walking to the... We around the water. Yep. Yeah, Yeah. I, re- I do remember that fact. Right. That was funny. That was the night... Was that the night I ordered, like, 30 or, like, 40 burgers from Petey's? For the crew. Yeah. We were at this Ooh, Italian restaurant, good. and we didn't eat mm-hmm. any of the food, so Facts, Michael ordered different. the whole entire crew 40 bur- like <laughs> burgers, fries, Petey's, everything. He's we got just, the best burgers, bro. Right. Is that the burger place where we um, Where was play it? Was basketball? Uh, safe, uh, yeah. Yeah, softball, baseball, whatever. Softball, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah. Right. Sorry. That was fire. I'm right. Was fire. I, was like, yeah. I love those burgers. That, that was a dope moment, though, when you got yeah. to that restaurant and um, you and Effie had that conversation. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That scene's so good. Yeah, it was really good. Hopped yeah. up in there and started speaking in Italian. You know? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was I, I was watching that this morning and I literally was just like, there was just something about you. You guys just had such a connection, and it was beautiful because you're like, is Tariq finally going to be happy with right. someone? Because yeah, that's what the fans are like, right? Mm-hmm. right? That's literally what T- Tariq is trying to do. He's trying to put yeah. his trust into someone. He's trying to just be okay right. with just falling into the arms of someone and not worrying what they're going to do with what he tells mm-hmm. them or what mm-hmm. he gives them from right. himself. And specifically, there's a line in that where you're like, n- you have no idea, like... um, Tasha was the mastermind behind the whole entire operation with Ghost. Right, mm-hmm. right. And I, I always love when the show goes, back, goes back to that right. and because so and comments on it. So Tariq is like, no, you have no idea. Like, it wasn't Ghost. Mm-mm. It was Tasha who was the mastermind and right. set everything up. Because Ghost was the one trying to stop him. Right. That was but crazy Tasha too. was the one that saw, like, we could try to stop him, but he's going to do it regardless. So right. we got to teach him the teach right way. No, that was a dope moment. And then, like, and then, of course, you in the back sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know. I, I literally was like trying to just breathe in, have right. like a panic attack. I was like, right. oh shit! Like, but that I thought was you were dope, gonna though. go vomit. Mm. I, didn't, I was like, oh shit, what is he yeah, about nah, to nah. do? Right, but that was just dope for like to, for the fans to see that because they're like, yo, like he's really trying to be something, but he's not ready for that. Yeah, he's right, not ready this yet. is like clear. Right. part of it. He's not Again, ready. Right. right, he's right. a hustler, but, 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 but it, it, I feel like I feel like they're doing a good job. The writers are doing a great job because everyone wants. When's Brady gonna get his first kill? They've been saying that to me since season one of Ghost. When's Brady gonna get his first kill? And it's like, he needs to go through this journey. To, he needs to earn this. 100%. Exactly. Because yeah. if he just goes and fucking shoots him, I'm like, this isn't who he is. Yeah. Right. Like, when the fuck he get like this? Yeah. Like, as much as Gianni right. wants it to happen, <laughs> this isn't who he is yet. Mm-hmm. So he has to go through some shit like this. He needs to fuck up. Like, And will it happen? Will it ever happen? It very well might not. Right. Mm-hmm. Raiden could right. never kill anyone, and that's just not what he's good yeah. at. That's what Tariq says at the restaurant. We all have our skills. Right. This isn't right. what you are. Th- Tariq is the, you know? Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying. That was a dope moment about that. It's like, you you, you know what I mean? You everybody know everybody. Has, yeah, yeah everybody you has know their strengths. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, you know everybody what I mean? Everybody so has their strengths. Did you see weaknesses. stuff in, in um, Alex specifically or Michael specifically during that scene that you leaned into? Because it's just such a, like, it, was it really was a beautiful scene. It was like, really, really nice. I think it was just, I mean, it was just really more... And them just playing into it, like just the the authenticity of what that is, like right. that connection. You know what I mean? And and I mean they, it was right there with it. You know, yeah. I don't think I gave too many notes. I think I might have said a couple of things to Alex, but outside of that, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like it was, was dope. Seamless. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember yeah. anything from that, Mike? Um, the kiss from- probably. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say? The kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the kiss well, I, mean, I mean, yeah. But, um, oh, right, they did kiss at the table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, honestly, damn this guy. <laughs> <laughs> damn this guy. Man, um, not, not anything really specifically from that night. I just, I just do remember like shit just being smooth. You know, right. everybody got right. their burgers. <laughs> you feel me? And then the scene was just like it was just you know me and Alex we just got great chemistry. And then the scene was just like it was perfect for what they're going through and then what the whole team is going through. So it was just like. But I, it also showed a, a, to me a, a different side of you, um, mm-hmm. a much mature, in control person. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because right. of what you just went through. Mm-hmm. Like that so was just, like you just literally. Like, yeah, you yeah. literally just killed somebody, mm-hmm. but kept the control and you're like, nah, like. This and that is, wasn't the first time like you, you body somebody, but I think. To do it, and you're owning go. it. Like it's mm-hmm. like, yo, this is all me. I'm doing this, and right. I'm mm-hmm. in control. So, yeah. and this is you know. what's gonna be. This is what we got to. Right, we in it now. Right. So, you know. Yeah, we actually did shoot at a real Russian Orthodox church. Yeah, what were the crazy. rules? We like had to take our shoes off oh, or wow. something. No, nah, no, nah, they were. Pre- I don't think they had too many rules, but yeah, that's. There that. was one thing specifically we had to do. I don't really remember. When we went but, inside. Yeah, we went downstairs. Um, and they actually did have a giant thing of pierogies downstairs. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you were probably yeah, when you went downstairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, what was you sh- that? That was the same place. Yeah, that was that was when I went. So you see the Russian connect at the church. Mm-hmm. He drops the money in the donation right. thing, yes. and then goes outside, and that's where Braden has to go kill him. Looks like a John Wick moment when he's yeah. walking in that church. So and then cool. we then it yeah. pop up, boom, and then we go through the we go through the cut. Right. Yeah. So we shot at an actual North right outside of right. Because a lot of times the exterior sometimes could be totally different than what the interior is. It exactly. could be in a different state, mm-hmm. but they just piece it together. Well, this was actually right outside the church. Oh right. wow! And that okay. was like a cool. It was a it was a cool location. It was, it was nice. Cool. Everything was... cut nicely too. It was like right outside. Like right. everything, like even when you're running down the block into the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, actually, because yeah, 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 yeah. we, where did we shoot? 
Where was that? That was in Queens. I think we so, shot the running in in um Long in that same, city. Yeah, the Long same city. Restaurant. And the other yeah. part that was in Brooklyn. Yeah, right. we were in Brooklyn. Yeah, wow. so they yeah. piece it together right. well, which looks nice. Nick, but we ran all the way to Brooklyn, bro. Right. I, just like, just I just always say acting alibi. and this industry <laughs> is all just like being in weird places. Mm -hmm. Like how many times are our chairs just in random places? like people's living rooms if we're in someone's <laughs> right. house. Yes. In a convenience store, you're like by the lace potato chips. You're like just sitting there getting ready for your scene. Wait, mm -hmm. or in a, uh, what's that place? Oh, oh yeah, we all went shopping. shopping yeah, yeah, buying, we all, like, oh, no, Tupperware. no. It's called Ocean State Job Lot. Job Ocean State Lot. Job Lot. Yeah, bro. Because we it's from Rhode shopping. Island. I'm, I'm from Rhode Island, so that's a... Bro, uh, right. Yeah. I when I tell you, I say, yeah, I'm about to move. I went crazy in there. I got masked up for the crib. I went People crazy. People were buying hats, shoes. Mm -hmm. Bro, they had everything in there. They had like, Rugs. From like kayak boats to fucking yeah, like we don't have that. Crazy. Crazy. I went crazy. <laughs> yeah, good. It was good. mad weird. I'm like, I like this store though. Me too. It went Price crazy. Had a big ass bag. Were great. Um, okay, Detective Whitman. Detective Whitman. Doing He's pressed the most. by Blanca. Always doing the most. They tell him to calm the fuck down. Right. Because he's going to blow some shit up. Right. So so he, he doesn't get put on leave of absence yet, but he's threatened by mm. He's threatened right. to it. He's still staking out the the um penthouse mm -hmm. but it yeah, kind of puts he, a little pressure on it i mean he was at he was he was at fucking at, he was at the monet's house yeah mm -hmm. like Looking sitting at, out there like mm -hmm. what are you doing like right. you're doing too much right <laughs> it was you know what i mean <laughs> like they just told him like yo like you gotta relax with everything you're doing and Mm -hmm. He just don't, you know, he, he don't, don't care. because it yeah. was so obvious. Right. With all the cameras yeah. we have in the Tejada house, you just sitting there leaning out your track. <laughs> right. Come on. Right. Well, and what I love about not only, like, you know, Power specifically, but Jermon, this episode, it's, there's not only pressure on Tariq and Brayden and the Tejadas and to, uh, from the police, there's pressure from the police to the, to the drug team and also from the police to the police. Mm -hmm, There's right. like all these stakes that are kind of like, it's so cool to see because they can't just free reign, do whatever they want. Mm, right. So there's pressure on them. There's pressure. pressure. It, it's pressure kind of everywhere. crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we got Diana and Effie standing off. Ooh. Ooh. That was in the, in the school, right? Yeah, in, in the, the school. In the stairwell. In the stairwell. Yeah. In the, yeah. Effie's yeah. saying that messing with Tariq is bad for uh -huh, him. But uh -huh. You think she's really trying to look out for Diana, or you really think she's just trying to be suffering and mm. keep everything for herself? I want to say it's really a little bit up? of both, mm. because all of the characters, in my opinion, on Power, we are very much looking out for our own mm. self best yeah. interests. Mm. Um, but at the same time, I feel like Effie does see something in Diana in a bit. Like, I know that you're trying, and I do want to look out for you. Girl, this ain't it. Mm. Right. Like, you know? But at the same time, she wants it for her, too. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit of both. Because like I always say, you mm -hmm. can be two things at once. You can feel two things at once. So maybe she is trying to look out for Diana, but more so herself. I think she's looking out for her. Because yeah. even if she doesn't really know that Diana, like, never wanted to live the life that her family's making her live, mm -hmm. you know, as far as, you know, doing all the, you know, selling drugs and right. all that crazy stuff. She always wanted to just go to school, be a normal girl. And that's it. So in a way, Effie is kind of looking out for her because being Tariq's, no, girlfriend, you can't do that. Yeah, and she's <laughs> right. telling her the truth. Nothing mm -hmm. she's saying is like cap. Like she's mm -hmm. she's telling the truth, yeah. but mm -hmm. it's not necessarily what Diana wants to hear because she's still, you know, right. she's mm -hmm. her own person too. Do, have you had how many scenes have you had with Alex specifically? Um, do you remember? Like, is it like you can count on one hand, or has it been a, a bunch? Besides the school stuff, mm -hmm. like our own personal scenes, I think just two. We had the one at um, Bergsdorf Goodman when we were uh, oh. shopping. That oh, yeah, because so you guys did team fun. up a little bit. That was right. fire. Yes, I that like that. Because I was like, man, this would be dope. Like if Diana and Effie like, could yeah. like, get together like that. Yeah, sometimes the writers nice. tease you a little bit. They're like, yeah. and then, I love nope. shit like They're that, like, though. Ah. Never mind, I love when they away. write like just normal like life like yes. le normal life shit like just girls going shopping or the boys just going to chill like pick up girls like I love when they throw little stuff in like that. She was teaching me the little scamming game, you know what I'm saying? We yeah, trying man. to make some money. Cause, the, Cause we always doing some crazy stuff. Like we don't yeah. never got a chance to just be normal people. Yes. <laughs> right, right. It'd we be all crazy. up to no good. Right. Always up to no good, so it's always good to see y'all, you know, enjoying it. Like when Kane was riding around with, with Brayden and picking up the shorties and stuff. Like that was fire too. Yeah. That was funny. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the real moments mm -hmm. do really. I love those. Mm -hmm. bro. bro, Kane made me laugh so hard in episode 301 where he was pulling up on, on Effie. Oh my god. And he was Yo, listening Effie. to the yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing the gummies like bro. I'm gonna catch you later. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he's so funny. We gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about Theo um Redman. Oh, yeah. yeah, Theo Rollins. Got to, got to talk about that. Yeah, I know. We we can't just brush. I feel like yeah. you know, we can't just brush over like that. Yeah. Not 
Listen. being talked about. It it it, it, it it's it sucks because like you. I loved Red Man. I, I'm yeah. a fan. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, they just like he went in a different direction. He wanted to do other stuff, and yeah, I guess it didn't really. I don't really know the specifics of like what happened, but mm. the new Theo Rounds is great. Fire. He does a great yeah. job, and um, we see that's kind of the reveal of that. Was that the first reveal that, that it was David? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah, because I remember working with with uh, with Shane on that sax about that little um, giving him notes like when he hears that and he puts it together. Right. When he's like, the, the height thing. Right. You know what I mean? That's when he realized like, oh. It was Davis. It was Davis. Yeah. yeah. And that's why there's yeah. that scene where they confront each other and he lets it out. Right, and he's working so hard to get him out because he right. feels guilty that he really did this. So right. the, the, the justification for it was that Davis was gonna, he got into Columbia, he was gonna make a lot of bread for the family and maybe Theo was in the streets and wasn't gonna be a priority. Right. Or you know, a cash cow, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. So they kind of said Theo was the one that did it. Mm. And now Theo's dying of cancer. So he's like, mm -hmm. fuck, I got to get this guy out. It's, yeah, he's taking the, yeah. he's taking the, um, you know, the, the weight of it all. How many years? Do we know how many years he has? I feel like they stated it before. Because when they Because Davis is almost Redman. 40, right? 40 in the, in the show, 40, 45. Yeah. He said he was getting into law school. That's 1920. He's been in, been in jail for that long. I think so, Damn. yeah. 20 years to do for yeah. your brother. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, yeah, my brother's out here right now. Loyalty. I like him a little bit, but not right. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I right. ain't doing 20 years for you, pal. I ain't doing he's so Now funny. we see Rashad. He's mad smooth. <laughs> this shit was so funny, bro, when he, when when she says, um, well, obviously he's talking to Professor Bennett. You know, there's a little, you know, old flame or whatever. He's talking to her, and then she's talking to his, the girl that he's with. She's like, Gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And then he, he looks straight at uh, Professor Bennett right in her eyes. He's like, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad, funny. You didn't even look at the dress? No, not he, at all. It was bad, smooth. He's like, he's not trying to talk. He's not saying the dress beautiful. He's saying Professor Bennett beautiful. He's like, yeah, yeah, beautiful. How dope is it working but with Lorenz? He's Lorenzo? funny as hell. It's dope. I mean, he's a legend, right? Legend. He's I been around, man. Been, you know, done some great stuff. And, um... Sometimes it's surreal, man. I just can't even like, yo, like it hits me after the fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, once shit, it airs just, and stuff, I'm like, oh shit, like we really shot that. <laughs> right, right. Like I was really working with homeboy. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but he's dope. I mean, you know, he he, you know, gentleman and 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 you know, well experienced actor, and he plays with things, man. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? When we do these scenes, he's like, yo, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try that. I'm like, mm -hmm. go, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like let's try it. Yeah, mm -hmm. he he he's really good at like. I think he analyzes the script so much right. so he knows he can play. Mm. Like, he does a right. lot of the touch with your collar. He does a right. lot of, like... Yeah. And it, it brings so much to that mm. that character. And right. that's why Consummate Tate is just a staple in power because Seriously. everyone loves him. But how funny is he? Every interaction he has with a woman on power is just mad <laughs> funny. Like, every interaction, bro. Yeah, did, did he hook did he up with Carrie Milgram? Or did he try? He was uh, he was trying. I think he tried. He was yeah. trying. Yeah. He was yeah. trying in the classroom. He was he was trying. But you know. Even can't, can't I think uh, the Bruce Andrea oh, yeah, situation yeah, yeah, yeah. with the internship. <laughs> Same a, thing. He I said was a little like, something slick. He said a little mm -hmm. something slick. Yeah. Well, now let's bring it over to when the Castillos confront Kane about um, Tariq killing the Russian Connect and not Braden. Yeah, at the penthouse. Yeah, at the penthouse. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah. At the penthouse, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eve, tell us about what yeah. happened. No, no, yeah. So, how, so how that's, was that's, that like uh, directing that scene? Like, right. oh no, it was cool. Um, <laughs> it was a lot. Well, it's no, kind of it's pivotal. Like, it's a it's pivotal moment. Pivotal. Right, right. Yeah, definitely pivotal. Um, it was interesting. It was interesting because then just watching Drew step into that, right? Mm -hmm. To kind of like, I think, I don't even think he knew. I, I, if I remember, I don't even know if he knew what what Kane. Yeah, well, well, yeah, nobody knew. Nobody because, knew because. Braden was supposed to do it. He right. froze, and Tariq was just behind him and do it. So there was right. no plan. Right. It was supposed to be Braden, and then it got it back up. to the Castillos that it was someone right. who was black. So they assumed that it was fucking Kane. Right. Exactly. Kane's, they're like, "You're the fucking guy." Like you, and he's like, "I don't know anything about that." Mm. And but then that's when racist. Um, <laughs> Lorenzo said, um, "I heard it was a white guy." Because right. he knew about the plan, right. but he did, they didn't know that the plan got fucked up. Mm. So now something's fishy. It was interesting, mm. though, um, for Lorenzo to step in and, like, kind of save his ass almost yeah. out of that conversation, right? Because right. they drew tried, but then he was getting a little heated. Mm -hmm. Right. But then Lorenzo stepped in and, like, kind of 
you know, let, let it be known. Yeah. Right. But I mean, again, that's when I think that's when Kane finally got the information that he knew what's up. That's why right. what happens to you later right, on. Right at the right? end. Yeah. Which we'll get to. But yeah. that scene was fucking dope. But yeah. when you um, have to direct like a lot of people like that in one mm. scene, and it comes to the blocking and stuff, do you kind of? map out in your head how you want it to be or do you just let us come in and find our place and then you put no, the No, so I, I always like I always come in with an idea of what it should be blocking wise based off of like who says what next mm -hmm. and how does that go and then like and I always think about the camera coverage as well like you know like for me to put one person in and put the other person way across the room and then right. they have interaction with each other uh, like yeah your cinematographer is gonna look at me like yo what bro what are you doing <laughs> like bro like now i gotta like bring the camera all the way over there um no but for sure like it's always i always think about the blocking but i always come in with hey this is what i'm what i think you know how we should work out right but when we rehearse it right it's always right. like find it let me know if you like it mm -hmm. You know, and, and Which again, we appreciate. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, but again, it's always like that collaboration. Like, yo, do you feel comfortable? Like, would yeah. your character do that? Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Would you stand or would you walk and talk? Would you sit down? Like, what do you feel for this scene that you would do? Right. And then again, in the rehearsal, we we'll look at it, and I think we'll determine together, like, if it makes sense or not. Right. Yeah. Some you know some I mean? directors will come in and go, like, I was thinking of you right here. Mm -hmm. Then you do right. this move. Then you do this move. Right. And some directors work that way because they have yeah. it planned out. Right. Other directors are like, "What Show are you me. gonna do?" Right. And, sure. and then right. we'll and work around. Like and I like I like both. Like yeah. I don't I don't have a preference. Like sometimes when a director's like, "No, you need to do this," because I don't like that. Because right. if they're like, "You need to do this," I'd be like, "Well, I don't like he wouldn't do this. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's right. a problem." But like you, you kind of work like. Well, right. It, it, again, like so, I take into consideration because because I was always like on my own working with cameras. Right. I take into consideration like where the cameras need to be, right? Mm -hmm. Like who is the anchor of the scene, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So I always look at whoever the anchor is, and that's where you drop the anchor, like that person, so to speak. And then the cameras just dance around everyone else, right? right? Where it's, um, but there are times like again, it depends on what show I'm on and whatnot. But sometimes I'll be like, yo, let's see what y'all was thinking. Right. Because some actors don't like to be told where to stand. Mm. Mm -hmm. right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's like, hey, yeah, that's, that's why true. I always come in with, hey, this is what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you guys like it. If yeah. not, I'm not offended. I'm cool. Like, let's thinking, just, yeah. let's yeah. figure it out. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, sometimes you don't that's say anything like, like, yeah, let's try it. Yeah, and the cameras it. will find you. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes the actors are conscious about where the camera's going to be, and I'm like, don't worry about that. Yeah, right. and then it makes it robotic. You yeah, know, just be where you think you're going to land, yeah. and emotionally and just physically where you feel, we'll find you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. But sometimes it is hard as an actor because if you're in that, you got to find your light, you got to find, yeah. you gotta find right. the camera but not know the camera's there. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very technical. Like, people don't realize, find, your, find the camera. If, you, if I go like this on my tight, it's a wrap. I, I'm blocked. Oh I'm in I, I, Kane's head's right here. Tariq's right. head's right here. If I go like you this, can't see you can't see my face. Right. So you gotta be in the scene, in your light. You gotta have the right. camera on you, but but not notice any of it. Not notice the the sound guy All right above you. All while you're like, locked in. <laughs> Everybody, like, yeah, yeah. Literally right. locked in. You almost in. wish people would see that side of it. It's like yeah. you got 30 people on top of you. Boom, mic, everything. They, yeah. they, they see like hampered. two Listen, people in a scene. But it's not easy. They see two people in a scene. And they just assume, oh wow, because you're so it's like, 50 like people into in the, yeah. the, mm -hmm. the scene that you're watching as a fan. You're like, wow, this is a dope scene. But like you said, it's 50 people. You got the boom hanging right. over your head. Sometimes and you like, see, it's sometimes like a big you see mic. the still photographer like he in just your like, eyeline, like right. yes, right. Because all those photos that you see that say like Power Ghost in the bottom of the promo photos, there's literally someone on set taking those mm -hmm. photos well, 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 in the well, middle of the scene. Right. I'm like. <laughs> So, so here's my thing. Like for me, what I what I do is I put on mental blinders like a horse, yeah. right? and I just do you that, and I block everyone out. Yeah. And I just focus on what I got to focus on. So I'm guessing it's the same thing with y'all, right? Absolutely. Like I have to block yeah. out everything. Be it'd be, I mean, it'd be you, crazy when we're filming and like in the public, like in the streets, and then people okay. are walking mm -hmm. past, like in the middle of the tape. Yo. Yeah. What y'all filming? What y'all filming? Oh shit. They see. That I'm getting ready to say my lines. Mm -hmm. And the, the guy, he was like, I guess his friend pulls up and he's like, 
you want to be in a movie? <laughs> and then the girl was like, what movie? Da, da, da. And I'm like, I'm waiting. Mm -mm. I'm thinking they're going to stop. They're not going to stop. I was like, um, excuse me, can you just be quiet mm -hmm. a little bit, please? I gotta get and George was like, up. cut. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn yeah. it. Sometimes people are cool because mm -hmm. like a lot of times when we film around the city, people <laughs> know power. They are fans of the show. Yeah. So they'll go crazy. They'll see us. But then they're sh we're shooting. They're like, they want the next season. So they're like, okay, we'll shut up. Like, yeah. They just want to like, and then it'd be those some people that'd be like, this is my block, I live over here. Yeah. 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 Come and, ruin my and shit. also people <laughs> yeah. don't really fully understand how it works. Right. Again, mm. they don't know that it's all this like. They don't even know that we pay to use this block. Right. Yeah, right. okay. Right. And time is money. For parking permits, yeah. we pay for all type of right. stuff. It's expensive. This is your block, but we paying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Toy, not toy, get into this next part right uh -oh, here, wait, please. Wait. Uh oh. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't even Oh wanna, me, okay. I oh, I thought you were gonna ask me. No, this this is your little um love interest. Oh, is it? Mm. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, Diana and Salim, they kind of get together. We just got to so. zoom in on Michael's face every time Salim is mentioned. He's like... Mm. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, and Diana, um, she she's kind of crossing the line a little bit with Salim. She's interested in him at this point, and they're kissing, and then her dad just pops up at the damn the poppy door. I'm like, up. what are you doing? Mm, yeah. Poppy! Uh, <laughs> poppy, poppy. <laughs> Right. And you yeah. think you're about to live your regular I life really again. I really do. Like Not I again, said, but you think you're about to live a regular life. Yeah, earlier, like I said earlier, I really thought, for, I'm speaking as Diana, mm. she thought that going to school was going to be this good thing and mm. like she was going to, you know, be able to be outside of the family business. But here it is coming mm -hmm. back yeah. into the forefront of her life and she is a daddy's girl. Right. So he comes with these drugs, sell them, figure out how you're going to sell them. I guess I'm going to funnel it through, you know, maybe the kennel right. store or whatever. But I can't say no to my dad. Yeah. He made them close for you and to get right up And she's right back in, in it. Anyway. Yes, yeah. and she's right back in the game. Yeah, it's kind of like what we touched on. Like, Monet and the family are always just bringing right. them back as much as they want freedom. Pull them right back mm -hmm. in. Yep. Now this Because is, look, we put family first. Yeah. Family always first. But look, this is your second time, bro. This is your <laughs> second time. This is your second time, bro. Bro, you've done it 800 <laughs> times to me in this entire show. This is your second time, bro. Kane says you owe him a body. Yeah. Oh, I thought I, I thought you were talking about how I fucked up the Tayden the, the Tayden. Oh no 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 no. We can get to that soon though. We can get to that soon though. I'm not I'm not I'm not over that. But this is your second time, bro. Yeah. Kane says you owe him a body, bro. You yeah. you folded on the first one. Well, you didn't really fold. You got there a little bit later. You know, I was a little bit ahead of you on the job. Yeah. But um, this one you folded. Yeah. This one you folded. Yeah. So that that was that. That's the ending scene. Where Bottom where Brayden yeah. goes and walks out. You got the nice little Mary vest on. Okay. He, he <laughs> I need toy in my life all the time. I'm going okay, <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. And I sit up on that bench, and Kane yokes me up from behind. And honestly, I texted Eve when I I texted you mm -hmm. when I saw that episode. I said that fucking crane shot at the end where it pans up into the city was so mm -hmm. sick. Like, oh my God. I mean, that's the music was, starts, right? Yeah, and the yeah. music goes up. Yeah. I want you to talk about that. But also, yeah, it, that's that's where Kane is like, you owe me a fucking body. This is the second time. So the, the power never brings up something and doesn't deliver. So again, Brayden is eventually going to have to bring something to Kane, right. whether mm -hmm. he does it, whether someone else does it. That also brings he in owes stakes. Him right. Mm -hmm. That brings he in owes stakes him. for Braden for this season where he Kane's on his ass. He fucked up twice. This is not someone you want to fuck up with. Mm -hmm. And that scene was great because Kane, Woody was like not really right. yoking me up. I was like, bro, mm -hmm. yoke me the fuck up. I don't want to be able to speak during this. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it makes it more real. Exactly. And he's like, all right. So we did like 10 takes. I was like, all right, you can show up. I think y'all are the same when it comes to that. Cause I remember season one. Mm -hmm. Um I'm supposed to slap Woody. Right. Kane. He told you to slap and him. And he real, told right? me to slap him. And the stunt coordinator was like, don't, you know, make any contact. We can, you know, we're gonna figure that out. Kane, Woody takes him to the side. He was like, no, slap me. And I was like, no. He's like, slap me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, fine. And I slapped the shit out of him. <laughs> Damn. To the point where my hand was burning. Like, and Damn. it was also really Damn. cold. Cause he said slap him. Every time? No, just that one time. Oh, okay. And uh, Mary, she was sitting off to the side. She was like, 
<laughs> Everybody, it was like the whole set got so quiet, and I swear, I don't know, but I think I saw a little, yeah, like, a little, tear. There's a little, mm. Yeah, his, he was I'm holding like, it. Yeah. He was My holding head, it. That was yeah. way too hard. Yeah, was <laughs> like, too hard. He like, told me, he said, no, like, slap me. Right. Did they use that take? They used it. It All was right, good. beautiful. It's worth it. It's worth it. He worth it, killed it. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, so, like, you guys like to really feel out there. Oh, yeah, nah, we had to. Because it's so weird, like, like, trying to say your lines. Like, say you're, like, getting choked up and nobody's really, like, but playing no pressure, it's, you're kind of like trying yeah. to choke yourself up, and then like it just looks mad. Weird. Or, or if someone face. fake slaps you, like there's a hand that goes across your face, then you're, you're supposed like, to do this entire scene as if they hit you. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're like. Mm-hmm. And I think it was scripted differently, right? I think he was he was coming to choke you up against the wall or something like right. that, and then we oh. made it. Into, yeah, where was it originally? Do you remember where you scouted? It was like somewhere else, and like he was gonna put you up against the wall or something like that oh. and choke you that way. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Ayo. You know what I mean? Ayo. <laughs> Ayo. But. um... Nah, man, that was that was that was um, that was dope. Like you guys really decided to like, yo, really choke me out and like mm-hmm. really go in. Gotcha. And um, you know, it was a fire location, fire shot. Yeah, you. So you knew that was the last scene of the episode, right? So were your wheels turning? Like, okay, I need to do something dope. Mm-hmm. Is that wh- why you changed the script and the location? Like, can you talk about how you how that kind of came into play? I th- so I think when when you're looking at locations, like for me, like sometimes things just. You just see it. Right. They just come, right? Like, you know, a lot, the funny thing is a lot of great moments come from accidents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even see all of a sudden, oh, shit, like, this could work. Like, let's try that again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think for us in that moment there, um, you know, just switching locations and and just doing what we did, you know, were you walking and then I took him, you know, it was like, because I think he was supposed to meet you there. Like, you had the, the conversation, like, right. just meet somewhere. Right. And I think you were sitting on a bench not expecting him to obviously do that. Right. Because you didn't know what his yeah, intentions were. Yeah, you saw what Like, yeah. Because yeah. we killed him. We didn't, right. I, we didn't hear anything else. We got the job done. Because I texted him in the restaurant. He's right. done. Right, right. And I think, if, I think he was just, I mean, he's obviously putting it together. Right. And that's why at the end, he's like, yo, we got to talk. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He was kind of knowing something's yeah, up. Right, something know. ain't right. Bro, Woody literally needed to choke me up, say the lines, pull the gun out, Ramp Load the, the gun, right. cock the gun. It is. It's, it's a, It was very technical. And it looks cold. Like I know the sun was out, but like yeah. y'all were breathing, and I saw mm-hmm. like. But the it smoke. was perfect though, because it's like it's That's like a lot. it yeah. just shows how crazy Woody's character is, Facts. right? How crazy Kane is. Like yo, he could he'll drop a body in the dark or in the light. Doesn't right. matter. Hot, right, cold. and I think because it was light out, mm-hmm. broad daylight, you don't like it that. Just matter. level him up, like right. you don't give a fuck. Right. Right? It shows that even more. Yeah, yeah. you know that's what I mean. So that was a dope moment. Like, oh shit, like he's really about this. He's about to do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. I don't know if we have time, but I really do want to ask this question. We have time. Keep going. Oh, we do. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Hello. <laughs> Um, so I noticed, like, even, well, I don't want to mention the other shows, but anyway, I noticed. <laughs> I like that. Like, you can. It's all in the family. Toy's really about to crew has it. And she knows. <laughs> no, no, she's a better because I know if I mention do, they're going to get on me. No, no, no. You can mention, you can mention yeah, Force. Can mention you can mention Kanan. You can mention Kanan. You can mention We can all mention anything. Force. Anything. What else? We can't, what's up? Oh, there's no one else. What, BMF? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So <laughs> I noticed, like, um, with BMF, Kanan, and other things that I've seen you direct on your episodes, uh, I feel like you do this, and I don't know if it's like your signature thing, but um, it's like you're shooting under. Mm-hmm. Is that a signature thing that you always want to We don't put? do it on, on... Yeah, BMF does it a lot, but not... Yeah, we do it on BMF yes. a lot. Um, I think it's just like, you know, the first director sets the tone, obviously, who mm-hmm. does the pilot. But I think as you go along, you try to figure out what works for camera. And I think that's just a particular style, you know. I don't think it's that way to kind of hide what's not, you know, set up wise. Mm. I just think it's just, you know, a a choice. Um, Okay, so it's not like a signature thing. No, no. What I do a lot is, and and if people notice, but what I try to do is um, have someone in the foreground and have someone in the background. Like, there's always someone walking into frame, and I hold them there purposely. And then rack focus to the other person, and then that person would turn into it. Yeah. It's that always this foreground, dope. background thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pay attention. I do, again. Yeah, yeah. I've done it a couple of times on on Ghost. That's and fire. Everywhere yeah, else yeah. I do it. That's fire. 
Yeah, well, don't if, steal the sauce. None of y'all steal yeah, the sauce. No, right. steal the sauce. Not to if you kill this episode, Absolutely. you know the boys As always. love working with you, Toya. I know yeah. she loves working with yeah. you. Um, I can't wait to have you back on Ghost. Hopefully, he's booked and busy. Yeah, he's yeah, booked man. and busy. Um, I go lie, yeah. he had a whole trip planned out. He he stopped, he pulled up on the boys. He oh, flew in from, oh, Miami from Miami to, Miami to do this boys. episode. Yeah. Okay, so we appreciate Miami. that. I mean, that's love right there. So he, he had a yeah. whole trip ahead of him. Yeah. He said, nah, I mean, unfortunately, you know, I can't, I'm not going to be on season four. Mm-hmm. Right. Because um, schedule was just crazy. Books mm-hmm. and busy. I mean, yeah. I'm here for it. Well, but well my thing we're was that. You know, I'm prepping right now for a film. So nice. mm-hmm. got that feature. It's a, yeah, it's a dope feature. Fire. It's um um Fidel Castro and Michael Max. True story. Ooh. Oh damn. Yeah. That's damn. Fire. That's gonna be I, wild. I, 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 yeah, it's gonna be fire. Well plug, plug that. Pl- that. Pl- plug everything you got coming out. Uh plug uh, you I got- mean, you know, I mean, amongst other things, you know, a lot of times you got all these projects and just kinda talking about different pilots, different networks and right. so on. Right. Um I think for me it's just I, I'm I'm in you know, where I'm at right now, I feel like I just want to do things that make sense, you know what I mean, right. um, for us, you know what I mean? And when I say that, it's just kind of like, you know, I don't I don't want to do other shows just because... It's a credit. Right. Yeah, yeah, like, okay, you just need this or you need to do that. Mm-hmm. Like, no, like, I'm okay doing this, what right. we're doing. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to be somewhere else. Like, for what? Right. Mm-hmm. You, you know mean? got a like, oil machine. Right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Some like, good. it's just building out with my people, my friends. Right. Mm-hmm. Did, did you do Force season two? I did. Yeah. Nice. I did what Force. Uh, shit, I think it was episode, might have been eight. eight. So you got episode eight but of yeah, Force but coming it, out. Yeah, and it was, you know, um, season two is way better than season one. Fire. Yeah. Gary Lennon, show Fire. Yes, sir. I'm excited for and, that. Yeah, yeah, man. And I'm Gary excited. hit me like, yo, man, your, your episode. Matter of fact, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not even like gassing it up or nothing like that. But like he hit me like, yo, it, it, like the episode's incredible to the point where like Lionsgate hit up my agent. So it was like, yo, we need to talk to Eve. Wow. Nice. And so we had the meeting to be like, yo, what else do you want to do? Mm. Nice. With them, mm. You know, because yes. of that episode. Like it literally in the email said, we just saw episode four us and like we nice. want to meet him and like talk to him. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know so Joe's dope. super passionate about season yeah. two. I talk to him, he's absolutely excited for it. Yeah. I can't wait for Force because I just know it's it's what the show, you know, is right. and and you know, should be. Mm-hmm. And it's right. really up there. So I'm super excited to see it. Yeah, man. I mean, look, man, I I think, you know, I love doing the show, but I love working with y'all. You Thank know what you, I'm saying? Man. I love That's just kind of like because we, we all building and growing, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Honestly, it was fucking incredible to go to Canaan and see you over there, just that fucking controlling that set. And you're, oh my god, it made me so happy. That's that a lot fire. different, right? And it's it's a, yeah, because yeah. we haven't worked with you in like a year and a half. Right, you're right, fucking right, right. on that, like, oh my god. I even was looking at Michael. We were watching the thing. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. yeah. Fire. Toy, plug what you got. Ghosts. <laughs> Ghosts. The best show on television. The okay. numbers just came out. Period. Yes, exactly. Please yeah. say Facts. that again. Yeah. Numbers. Um, the Listen, numbers men lie, just come out. Women lie. Numbers don't numbers Do lie. not numbers lie. lie. Exactly. Numbers but yeah. That's Instagram. it. Close my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. They're all at Toy Official. Yes, yeah. my voice is like done though. Yeah, last night was a. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah, we threw a, we threw a little party. The the boys threw a yeah, little party threw, for the hardworking crew. Crew yeah. of season three. We had a party. Night. Night. Yeah, the boys sound like I'm gargling with rocks. Yeah, yeah, nah, we was yeah we was lit. But, um, that's why we were a little sluggish today. <laughs> 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 but um, Michael Rennie Jr. on Instagram. Where's two? Uh, where's twenty two on Instagram? Where's twenty two on TikTok? Um, we're 22 on YouTube. We got vlogs coming, fire content. Yes. All that. So, yeah, we're here in the community, yep. baby. Gianni V. Paolo, Instagram, TikTok. We also make sure you guys are putting your predictions in the comments. Oh, yeah, drop all of Mike those. and I are going to go in the comments and respond to you guys. We're going to read your comments in future episodes. Mm-hmm. So, if you guys want to be on the crew, how's it? Comment, like, all that stuff. Let us know. Um, get some merch. We got new merch coming out oh, yeah. soon. We got um, the hoodies, the day one hoodies. We restocked those because people just keep buying them, so we restocked okay. them. Mm-hmm. And we got new merch coming. So, the boys Eve, are moving. thank you so much for coming on. Michael, you got to give us one. Toya, thank you for... Oh, Toya, just thank you for being you. I just want Aww. you here every episode because <laughs> you just bring so much. You thank help me. You. You know, it's just like you help Toya, the boys. I love you guys, for yeah. real. We love you, too. Like, seriously. But listen, man, the crew... Has it, baby. Yes, yes, sir. The crew has it, and you have it. Thank you, Eve. Thank you, Toya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm still not part of Rolly Gang, but, you know. <laughs>
Listen, we gotta get. I love that. We gotta get a rolling. It's coming. It's coming.